Hello and welcome by another video from the Orchid Saga. Today we have a unboxing. And I ordered some new orchids from Swerter Orchidien Zucht from Germany. But German is not so uh, good. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I did take my address uh, away. Of course, I uh, only did uh, open the box uh, of that kit, uh, opened uh, the tape. So it was a little bit easier to open it up. I didn't have a look inside yet, so I wanted to do that with you guys. So here we go. Um, and I did forget a bit of tape. Here, there it is. <laughs> okay. This one goes this way. And my address is on there. These are the Orchids that I ordered, but are we gonna show the plants itself? That is a little bit nicer. Let me grab my knife so it's a bit easier to open up. They were in a postage over a week, so I hope they will uh, look fine. This probably does make some noise, I'm sorry for that. Oh, these are packed very well. This is a Venda Tessalata Alba. It's a potted. I thought it would be in a basket, but it's okay too. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, name tag. Small one, obviously. A young plant, and yes, it's a very young plant, but it looks very healthy, beautiful green color, we have beautiful roots in here, and I will hang this uh, with my other vendas, but this is the uh, Tessalata Alba. And I think it's going to bloom pretty soon. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a young plant, so it will take some years. But I thought, yeah, why not? I'm just going to try it. Mostly I like to have it that my plant's a little bit older. Because we can expect uh, the blooms a little bit sooner. But I think this is uh, nice as well. So I'm going to put this aside and open up the next one. That was the first one. Then we have another Venda, Venda Densoniana. Also a small one. But the Dens Densonianas are very hard to get here in Europe most of the time. So I thought I'm going to get a small one and try to grow it on. And that's, uh, that's obviously also okay. It's a very, it's a very, very small little plant. Yeah. It's a little bit damp, but here we go. And it has some nice roots there as well. And Yes, it's up potted. I don't know. I think I'm going to change that. But, um, yeah, maybe semi hydroponic. I could try it. I have a think about it. I don't know yet what I will do with this one. It's a very tiny, uh, tiny plant. I thought it was a little bit bigger, but it doesn't matter. It's a tiny plant. And I have it. I'm happy to have it. Here we have R R uh, R R L C. Chusen, <laughs> uh, Chusen. That's a beautiful bloom plant. Also a small plant, but I really enjoyed these uh, blooms. Um, I think it's desert orchids, if I'm correct. He has a very beautiful big plant of this one. Beautiful blooms. It seems to be very fragrant as well. So yeah, I thought yeah, I'm going to have uh, to give this a go. It's a very small plant. 
but it will grow bigger if I'm uh, doing my job correctly. <laughs> This one needed needs to be uh, repotted quite quickly, I think. I don't like these uh, baskets it in. Um, it doesn't make root roots yet, but I think I will uh, do a repot on it anyways. This might be a new growth. I'm not completely sure if that... Uh, it looks like a new growth to me. Yeah, this is uh, another one. And one more time the tag. Let's put it in there. I ordered small plants this time. Smaller than I was expected to be honest, but okay. Okay. Yes. Here are the bigger ones. Merme mer mer I'm sorry. Merme co co catlea <laughs> elegance. This reminds me a little bit of the uh, Francis Fox, so therefore I thought, yes, I, I just want to have this. It's, I think it's a beautiful plant to have in your collection. So let's unwrap this. Here we go. This is pep. Ooh, a lot of new growths. That's need to be careful not to break them. That is great. Yes, beautiful. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, I'm sorry. Three beautiful new growths. It's making uh, new roots. I hope you can see it there as well. So this one is uh, can be repotted quite easily and quickly. I repot my uh, argus uh, most of the times quite quickly, even though they don't not always make new roots. But I know know how to uh, most of the times to get them going quite quickly. But if you uh, if you are unsure with argus, you sh probably should wait to make uh, and you see, uh, when you see new root tips and then repot them. But this one is very heavy, it's damp, I think it's packed with moss inside there. So I'm going to take this out very quickly. One more time, look at the name. Whoops. This is the one, Elegance. I'm not pronouncing the whole uh, name again. <laughs> but this is uh, also a very beautiful plant. <clears throat> okay. And we do have more. We have a one very big one. This is a quite common one. I see this one uh, quite. Uh, this is the hairy pig. I'm sorry, the hairy pig. Gold green hairy pig. I see this a lot on channels. I never bought it, and I thought, yeah, this is the time. I just thought I saw a snail, but it is not a snail. Wow. There we go. I like this one because it's a big one, big play. I like uh, the bigger plants in general. I'm sorry for the noise. There we go. Let's try it with a knife. <laughs> Should have done it right away, I know, but I didn't. And oh, ah, here we go. There we have it. Beautiful. It's a young plant, but already quite quite big. 
and I really like it. I think it has an eye here, down there. So it should be shooting out quite quite soon, I think. I hope. Yeah, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Don't wanna mess up the tag, so I'm going to put the tag back on. And here is my golf green Harry pick. Okay, I think we are almost there. We have one left, and here it is. This is the Encivola in Jarek Canary Orange. I really like the blooms on the picture, and I thought I had it, but apparently I don't, if my notes are correct. And I think they are. <laughs> I hope. Otherwise, I have two, but yeah, I like it enough. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have this one already. This is, yeah, in a basket. And it has at least two new growing directions. Uh, new growths with, and a lot of new roots. I'm sorry, I was a little bit uh, distracted there. This is a fairly new growth as well, this one. Oh, I'm sorry, a little bit too high. This one, but we have this one and we have that one. So this one is going, uh, I'm going to take off this uh, basket quite quite soon and I'm gonna pot it up in the same uh, self-watering, I'm sorry. Once they are get adapted, they really like it, these uh, Brassavola Catlea types. Encyclifola, so it's an Encyclia crossed with a Brassavola. And both of them I have really good successes in uh, self-watering pots. So this one will join them soon. Okay, let's put it behind the camera as well. Let's have a last look. But sometimes you get freebies, but sometimes you don't. And I don't this time. <laughs> Oops, that's okay. Uh, I will be back and we'll have a last look at the new plants. So, uh, what do you guys think? One year of growth? <laughs> They're probably the same like this? No. Uh, Make it six, seven years at least, I think. But yeah, anyhow, it's uh, very tiny, but I'm happy with it. I'm going to try my best to grow it as good as I can. But here are the uh, other plants. Here is my whole haul, and yeah, I'm looking forward to repotting these guys and get them adjusted in my uh, greenhouse. But first, I can uh, uh, climatize a little bit more. I, uh, going to repot them soon one two days I'm not exact uh, exactly sure because I um, I need to have a little bit of time but um, yeah I'm happy I'm really happy with these guys so thank you uh, for watching and as, uh, as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and uh, for now uh, thank you for watching oh yeah I already said that <laughs> but still and uh, I hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye